Hello everyone, my name is Marie from Medical Channel Asia and today I'm at Thompson Fertility Centre to consult with my doctor to know more about my options with egg freezing. Let's go! Hi Dr Janice. Hello Marie. I understand you're here to talk about egg freezing? Yep. I just want to know a little bit more. I yeah. see. Okay, so first of all, let's start with uh, what's your age? So, um, I'm 28 this year. I see. That's great, you look very young. <laughs> okay, and that's very important, okay, because um, this procedure, egg freezing, is currently not available for women above 35 years of age in Singapore. First of all, we are going to do some screening scans and tests. Um, I will do an ultrasound scan for you to check if you have any other problems that may potentially hinder your future fertility mm. so that you may want to consider egg freezing now to improve your chances of fertility in future. Mm. And then also there is a blood test. Okay. This blood test is to measure your egg count. Okay, the exact test name is called anti-malarian hormone and um, AMH for short. Mm. Okay, so what it actually measures is the egg count. So if you look over here, this is the ovary. Okay, and usually in a natural cycle, one egg comes out every month. That's the egg that ovulates. What people do not know is that there's actually a lot of other eggs in the ovary that will be discarded by the body in that cycle. Ah. That means these eggs are never used, they're just gone from mm. the body. Okay, so this AMH, this egg count refers to these other eggs and it predicts the number of eggs we're going to get in the IVF cycle. Okay, mm. so when we do the stimulation and we're going to extract all these eggs, these are the eggs that we're going to extract. Now, our stimulation is not going to produce new eggs for you, so we can only take what you already have. Ah. Yes, so that is why the egg count is important. Mm. So if you have a high egg count, that's great news. <laughs> if you have a lower egg count, then yes, it may be pertinent that you consider egg freezing at this age. So what happens after we find out how many eggs there are? So do we extract it? Like how does it work? I see. So okay, so what we are going to talk about is mm. the egg freezing procedure itself. Alright, so what happens is that um, we will start at the beginning of your cycle and then you'll be doing some injections every day for about two weeks. So this is actually a very doable period. So for ladies who are a bit squeamish about needles, okay, um, and injecting themselves, there's still ways around that we can help. Okay, mm -hmm. so there are ways to try and numb the injection sites. Um, there are ways to encourage them or teach them how to do the injections. And if really worse come to worse, they can't do the injections themselves. They can come over and let our nurses help them with the injections. So um, because this period of time is very short, which is less than two weeks, that makes it okay and. Uh, easy to do in a way okay so after that what happens is that um, the injections will cause the eggs to grow in the ovary and then what we are going to do is scan to track the size of these eggs and as they grow we will know and then once we feel that they are ready then we will do an injection to trigger ovulation or what mm. we know as the final maturation of all these eggs mm. and then after that, we will arrange the egg procedure which is usually about 36 hours from the egg extraction procedure which is usually about 36 hours from the time of the trigger injection. Mm. So this is how the procedure is like. Basically, we will put a probe into the vagina. This will be done while you are while we have given you some medicine to go to sleep so you're comfortable, you won't know anything, you wake up feeling like you've just taken a nap. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. So uh, we put the probe in mm -hmm. and then we put a needle in through the vagina under ultrasound guidance. This is what the probe is for, it's for the ultrasound. Okay, and then the needle goes into the ovary and then the eggs are extracted. The eggs will look they are essentially um, called follicles. Mm. Uh, what we actually see is the fluid around the egg. Of course, we don't see the egg itself, it's microscopic. Mm. Yeah. So what we do see is the fluid all around the egg and that's what we are extracting, including the egg. And then it goes into a test tube that goes to the lab directly and the lab will examine the fluid for the egg. Okay. After that, the lab will take the egg or eggs and mm. wash them down Okay, and then when they see that the eggs are mature, they will count how many mature eggs you have and this is where the procedure stops for ladies doing egg freezing. The eggs are then frozen and then they will be thawed at another point in time when um, the lady wants to utilize these mm. eggs. Oh. So after the eggs are collected, right, and then you say they are frozen, there must be some special way of freezing this instead of like chucking it into the fridge, right? How's it, how's oh, it kept? Yeah. How's it frozen? Yes, definitely. <laughs> so um, a lot of this uh, current technology uses liquid nitrogen mm. to uh, uh, 
flash freeze essentially so basically cooling the temperature to a very very cold temperatures um, in a very short amount of time and that's how the eggs are frozen so whether the eggs are viable or not after that uh, is uh, we will only know when we thaw these eggs but mm. of course um, other centers in the world have done it um, and our lab has also done it uh, before and we know that most of these eggs will survive the thawing okay then after that um, they will be utilized for the fertilization with the sperm at the time point when the lady wants to use it 